Hello, my name is Cherie, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a Singer 15 sewing machine, and this particular machine was in production from 1895 and remained in production for well over 100 years. During that 100-year period, there have been many different iterations of this machine and changes made, so there are a lot of choices in what machines you can buy in the secondhand market. At the same time, it's not such a good thing because it is more difficult to discover whether or not you have a real Singer sewing machine or a fake. So today we're going to look at some fake Singer sewing machines and point out the telltale signs that it is a fake. So without further ado, let's get into it. When I saw this machine right here, I knew that I had to make a video about this topic. The Facebook ad reads as follows. Antique Singer treadle, very rare find, needs belt, etc. Good project piece to make a nice profit. And then it goes on to say antique treadle machine, cast iron base, very rare itself. So it looks like they used a ton of keywords to try to get some traction on this. And they may have actually thought that this machine was an authentic Singer sewing machine. However, we're going to do a little bit of investigation to understand why it is not. So first, let's go over to icemax.net and see if we can find a match to the decals on this machine. The decals on this machine are called the RAF style and they were produced from 1935 to the 1950s. And I went to singersewinginfo.co.uk and it says during the 1930s, 15K models built in the Kilbowie plant in Scotland were commonly finished with RAF decals. These were originally designed by William Hooper of the Dunbarton in Scotland, who worked at the Singer plant. Okay, now that I see pictures of this particular machine that was made, it looks almost nothing like the one that we've seen in this Facebook advertisement. So let's take a closer look at it. This is a 1937 Singer that was produced in the plant in Scotland and it looks very different from the one that we saw from Facebook Marketplace. So let's look at them side by side and see what the differences are. There is a large circular stitch length dial on the fake machine and I haven't seen any RAF decal machines with that circular stitch length dial on it. Instead, I see that on a Singer 1591 and also on the Singer 201. Also, I see that there's three spool pins on the original machine and only one on the fake one. Then two, the badges on the machine are different. On most Singer 15 sewing machines, uh, there is a gold badge. And sometimes for special editions of the machine, you will see either gold and blue or gold and black, but never gold, gold pink and green. The gold, pink, and green is usually found on machines like your Singer 400 series machines, but not on the Singer 15. Also on the hand wheel, the hand wheel spokes are much thinner than they are on the original machine. Then too, I see that there's a dial in the front of the machine. That dial is similar to what you would see on a Singer 191, but not something that you generally see on a Singer 15. So that is another difference. So these are the differences that I see on the surface, but of course there may be diff other differences there that we're not discussing right now. But let's go on and look at one other fake machine so that we can analyze it as well. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap that notification bell to receive updates. Singer treadle reproduction in cabinet. Doesn't the word reproduction sound like a very lovely way of saying fake? This is a Singer reproduction in a treadle cabinet, which I purchased thinking it was a real Singer. Pick up only, cash only. Okay, lovely. Well, we're not going to go through all of the drama of searching through Ice Max to find the decals, but I am going to pull up another machine that matches this one, and it is the Singer 15K. And the Singer 15K did have the Sphinx decals on it, However, they did not look quite like this. Once again, you can tell that the original machine looks a whole lot different than the fake. The original machine has much more muted colors on the decals and the badge that's on the front of the machine is just a solid badge instead of it being a colorful badge. Also, you have a much beefier hand wheel on the original machine than on the fake and 
last but not least you also have a smaller stitch length dial than there is on the fake so let's look at the comparison of the two machines side by side now that i'm seeing both machines side by side I can realize that there are some more differences. The body style of both of these machines is extremely different from each other. Also, I noticed that the needle bar looks a lot different on the original machine than it does on this one. And you also have a different bobbin winding mechanism. So those are a lot of differences that I can just see right off the bat. Now, I bet you might be wondering why it even matters if you got a fake Singer sewing machine or a real one. Well, it really does matter because the quality of these fake machines are not as good. From what I hear, the vast majority of these Singer 15 replicas are made in China and the build quality is quite rough. So you get a lot of jitters and shakes when you're trying to use the machine. And also the paint wears off much more easily because it's not as good of a finish as what is on the original. So that is just my two cents on that. Please let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. And I hope that you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.